How's it going guys? Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Clams. This morning, I got one of the best texts. Like, the best text you can get is when someone says, Hey, I got something. You want some? And what today ended up being, my friend Ronnie is a commercial uh, crabber and fisherman. He went out last night, uh, late night, and collected all his traps. And he said, Yeah, I got a couple blue crab if you want some. So, he threw me about six of them. Try not to get pinched here. But these are New York blue crabs. And these are all male. You're allowed to take male or female as long as the female don't have eggs on them. But the way that you tell them apart is by the apron here. And the long skinny apron are the males. The females have a big wide apron. And also the females have a lot of red on their uh, claws. They call them lipstick crabs. So I got my pot of water boiling, we're gonna make stuffed crabs. So first things first, I have that boiling. I'm gonna add a little bit of white vinegar. And what that does is help the meat separate from the shell. It breaks down the protein just a little bit. So we're gonna put a little bit of vinegar in there and a healthy amount of sea salt. I do like to boil them. It's just faster, um, keeps the meat more moist. I know a lot of people steam them. I steam them also, but this is just a quick, easy way to get them cooked. All right, we'll bring that back up to a boil and we'll start putting these guys in. These are some healthy blue claws. Now, I have an earlier episode where I'm in Key West catching blue claws. I had no idea that they ran that far down south and those you gotta hunt them on the cold nights, cold nights in Key West, uh, where it gets down to about 50 degrees, um, but you're knee high in water. The way we catch these guys up here is you just go along the docks with a net and they're usually hanging on the side and you just shine them with a flashlight and then pull them up. Um, Ronnie's out there actually trapping them. All right, our water is up. We're gonna put these guys in and they're gonna cook, I'm gonna say about six minutes. Look at that beautiful blue on them. Throw my lid on. We'll be back here in six minutes. We're gonna pull them out of the water, throw them on ice to chill them down. Those are pretty. Look at that orange. All right, so we're gonna pull our crabs, dump some ice on top of them, and then throw a little bit of water on top and let them completely, totally chill down so that we can then crack them open and uh, pick them. All right, we got our ice. Dump our ice on. I'm gonna go inside, put a little bit of water, chill these guys down, and then we'll come out here and I'll show you how to pick them. All right, these guys are all chilled down. Now, each one, I mean, there's some with some bigger uh, claws on there. We got three sections of meat on the claw right there. And this is a labor intensive process, but Luckily, their shells are not nearly as uh, strong as uh, the spider crabs down south. Those you need a ball peen hammer to get through. Beautiful, absolutely, absolutely beautiful. But like I said, this is gonna be a while, but what I wanna show you, actually, so what I wanna do is, uh, bib off here and we're gonna pull the shell off of the entire body there we go because what we're gonna do is once we make our mix we're gonna stuff these and then put them in the oven almost like a baked clam 
So I'm gonna pull these and put them aside. And now, one of the things you wanna pull off, so right along here are the gills, also called the dead man's fingers. So those pull right off. Got a little bit of mud in there. We'll give that guy a rinse, but first let me just show you. Crack the body in half. And inside each of these compartments is a little bit of meat. So I'm gonna get a pick and go through and painstakingly pick all of that out. Now the other thing is the guts here. That's actually called the mustard. Now a lot of people discard that. We're gonna put it in our mix. I know, it sounds crazy, but it tastes so good. You wouldn't even know that it's in there. And it's kind of like adding the fish sauce to recipes. That has so much flavor to it. I can't pass it up. All right, I'm gonna pick through these and then we'll make our mix. Okay, I cleaned these up a little bit so that I could show you a little better what I meant. So each of the bodies took all the legs off of them and the front claws, took the bib off and the head, and then crack them in half. And in each one of these chambers where there's a leg, there's a big old piece of meat like that. Now I use the word big very modestly, <laughs> but we're gonna pick through all this, throw it in there, and then we'll make our mix. I'll see you back here, hopefully sooner than later, but this is gonna take a while. Okay, we made it. <laughs> I didn't think it was ever gonna end. So now we're gonna make our filling. A uh, little bit of sea salt in there. And because we're in the Northeast, let's go with a little bit of uh, Old Bay. Not too much in there just enough and then we're gonna go a little bit of mustard about a teaspoon a dash of Worcestershire sauce a little bit of mayo just to keep it rich because we're gonna bake these so not too much but just enough and then one egg. Beat that real quick. One lemon. Now, of all the things that I would think that I would get the most messages about, the one thing that seems to be consistent is exactly what I just did. So I do that a lot and then I put it on the side. I roll my lemons or my limes I, don't, I almost never film that, because I didn't think to film it. And the amount of messages that I've gotten from people, hey, you know, you really should roll your uh, lemons and limes. So there you go. I rolled my lemon. <laughs> but it is true, you get a lot, more, a lot more juice with a lot less effort. This is a pretty juicy lemon, so we're only gonna use half there. Okay, now half a shallot. What's amazing is that it already smells good between the Old Bay and that lemon. It smells exactly how I want it to. So half a shallot, one scallion. Almost down to the white. bit of 
parsley just to keep it nice, bright, and fresh. I love parsley. It is, parsley and seafood to me go hand in hand. Now for me, I always have to pick my crab first. You can't make this ahead of time because I go by how much crab I have as to how much filling I put in. And now, last but not least, breadcrumbs. We're gonna add a little bit of breadcrumbs, mix it, and see if we need any more. We want this to be a little bit wet. We don't want it dry. So we want those breadcrumbs to soak up what's there, but not dry it out. I'm gonna add just a little bit more of the mayo. And actually the other half of that lemon. I want a little more moisture in there. That is looking perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay, now that it's all mixed up, it's the consistency that I want. I have my head shells. I've cleaned them out, scrubbed them. Now, we're gonna fill each one with our mixture. A little bit of breadcrumbs on top of those. Now I'm gonna throw those in the oven to bake at 350, just until they're a little bit browned on top. So we'll be right back. Okay, pulled these from the oven. They are beautiful golden brown. The smell coming off of them, I chopped up a little bit of parsley, put on top. We'll keep it real New York Italian restaurant style. <laughs> Can never have enough parsley. And a little bit of lemon. I, I wish I could explain the smell coming off of these. It is. It is so good, so good. I cannot wait right now. All right, let's dig in. Mmm. I didn't go crazy with all the things we put in because again, crab is a delicate flavor. So I didn't want to overpower it. I did not. It is coming through. It is so good. That little bit of mustard. Mm. Because of the mayo, because we made that mixture kind of moist, it allowed the egg to cook through inside without overcooking the crab, which was already cooked. So the crab is still perfectly, perfectly moist. Wow. Usually I make crab cakes. I think this is definitely gonna be a go-to from now on because this is phenomenal. This is so good. A little bit of crunch from the uh, breadcrumbs on top. Mm. This is a good one. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, thank you, Ronnie, for the crabs. That was a great treat today. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next one. Mm.